SpongeBob SquarePants is arguably one of Nickelodeon's greatest shows. Over the span of 12 seasons, it has garnered a wide audience consisting of a wide array of people ranging from children to adults alike. Despite the show's popularity, this show is by no means perfect. There are a few prominent mistakes that only the eager-eyed viewers will notice. So, today we are going to have a look at some of SpongeBob mistakes that Nickelodeon ignored. Before we get started though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be entered into our monthly shout out giveaway. And don't forget to leave a comment down below telling us what your favorite SpongeBob SquarePants episode is. Our first mistake appears in this episode, the card. In this episode, Spongebob attempts to find a one-of-a-kind Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy card from the money he withdrew from his bank. After opening a few packs of cards, he starts getting anxious and proceeds to buy all of the packs and runs out of money. Unfortunately, to no avail, he couldn't find the elusive card. The first mistake in this episode occurs at the beginning where Spongebob is at the bank. In this shot, we see that Incidental 49 appears after Incidental 107. However, when the fish tells Spongebob to hurry up, Incidental 23 appears in the same place Incidental 45 would have appeared. How strange. The next mistake occurs in the next scene, at the shop. While Spongebob is searching for the elusive card, we can see that Spongebob's eyes are out of position for a few frames. Here are those clips. Come on! Would you hurry up? Yeah, some of us have withdrawals to make, you know? Wow. These must be the most valuable cards in the world. Our next mistake is within the episode, The Bully. The storyline of the episode was that a new kid named Flats the Flounder was brought into the school and he had been bullying Spongebob. The perpetual bullying got to the point where Flats threatened Spongebob to quote, kick his butt. Not as intimidating as we all hoped. Anyway, here is where the mistake comes in. During the later part of the episode, we see Spongebob expressing his concern about Flats to Miss Puff. Unfortunately for Spongebob, Flats is behind Spongebob taunting him with various gestures of what he is going to do to Spongebob. It gets to the point where Spongebob gets so scared, his eyelashes go missing. Yeah, that's quite strange. Here's the clip. Be your friend. And maybe play some sports. With you on weekends. I got diarrhea. Our next mistake is in this episode, Tea at the Tree Dome, where Spongebob goes out jellyfishing and encounters a new face that everyone likes, Sandy Cheeks. Upon Spongebob and Sandy introducing themselves to each other, Sandy proposes the idea of Spongebob coming to her tree dome for some iced tea. This episode was a key point in Spongebob's character development, in which a new trait of Spongebob not being able to breathe without water was established. When Sandy comes back with the iced tea, she sees Spongebob and Patrick on the floor dehydrated. As a result of Sandy not knowing about this, this results in her having a shocked expression on her face. She proceeds to drop the iced tea and the tray as a result of her being shocked. However, if you listen carefully, you can hear that the sound of her dropping the tea and the tray plays before the animation is played out. It is only a few frames difference between the impact sounds and the animation, so I wouldn't blame you if you didn't notice this the first time around. Here's the clip. Our next mistake appears in the episode, The Hall Monitor. In this episode, Spongebob is elected Hall Monitor, where he is able to monitor and govern the activities of what goes on during the halls of his school to ensure that everyone is safe. Despite this, Spongebob takes his duties a bit too far. It gets to the point where he starts to intrude on other people's privacy. For example, breaking into someone's house, causing havoc at some traffic lights, etc. Eventually, he spots Patrick out in the street, chowing down on some strawberry ice cream. The two decide that they will band together to tackle crime and ensure that everyone is safe, completely going against what Mrs. Puff intended for Spongebob to do. The mistake in this episode occurs when Patrick is stopped by two policemen patrolling in their boat mobile. Upon asking Patrick if they've seen the maniac, one of the police officer's eyelids turns green. Afternoon, son. Hello, brothers. 
Our next mistake comes in the form of the episode Rock Bottom. In this episode, SpongeBob and Patrick must explore the elusive and mysterious depths of Rock Bottom, a deserted area that not many people live in or explore. This adventure is a result of SpongeBob and Patrick getting onto the wrong bus, which leads them straight to Rock Bottom. The mistake in this episode occurs at the beginning of the episode, in which SpongeBob and Patrick are getting on the bus. As Patrick is getting on the bus, we can see that SpongeBob is idle for a few frames, and upon him being idle, his arm is mysteriously missing. Maybe this might be foreshadowing to the crazy events that are about to ensue later on in the episode, but who knows. Tell me what you got at Glove World. Okay, here's my glove light. Our next mistake appears in the episode, A Pal for Gary. In this episode, Spongebob feels really bad for Gary and leaving him at home all the time while he's at work. Therefore, he decides that in order to be a responsible pet owner, he decides to buy a new pet on the way home from work. However, hijinks ensues as we eventually find out that the pet that Spongebob purchased isn't exactly the pet that he was buying himself into. Turns out that this monster is very evil and mischievous. Towards the end of the episode, the monster turns into a massive lizard creature who eventually runs off, breaking the front of Spongebob's house. Despite this, none of the remaining houses on Spongebob Street appear to be there. Our last mistake occurs in the episode, The Original Fry Cook. This episode is all about the original fry cook, of course, as he pays a tip to the Krusty Krab after all the years of not being the fry cook anymore. The reason why he ended up leaving was due to the complications between him and Mr. Krabs. However, that is not where the mistake is. The mistake is actually at the beginning of the episode, on the title card nonetheless. As you can see here, there are some celebrity guest stars that make their appearance within the episode. One of the most notable celebrities is none other than Patton Oswalt. Seems alright at first, doesn't it? However, one thing you may not have realized is that Mr. Oswald's name is spelled incorrectly, being spelt as Oswald as opposed to Oswalt. 